Now that we have set up our IDE, we can begin learning the ins and outs of C++. In order to learn a programming language, it's important to have a good understanding of how the language works. So in this lesson, we'll be creating a basic program that prints out text to the screen. So let's get started. Before we can begin writing the logic, we need to tell C++ what files to use. Think of it like a builder who has many toolboxes. It would be silly for the builder to bring every toolbox if they just needed to fix a door. So, in C++, we need to tell it what toolboxes or files to use. In our case, we want the program to use the printing file. In C++, that file is called IOStream, or Input Output Stream. So, to use this file, we need to write a pound to say that it's a preprocessor directive, followed by the keyword include to say that we want to use the file. Then, inside the angle brackets, we say the name of the file, so IOStream. Now C++ knows that we want to use the IOStream file. We still need to tell it what library to use. We do this by saying using namespace, followed by the name of the library. Because we want to use the standard library, we'll write std. Now we can begin writing the program's logic. So, in C++, like most programming languages, your code is split into functions. We'll get into more detail on what a function is, but basically they break up your code into neat blocks. For example, you might have a function to start a car, then a function to drive the car, and then a function to stop a car. But C++ needs a place for it to begin running from. This function is called main. So to write the main function, we need to write int main open and close brackets. We'll go into more detail on what this means, but for now, just remember that this is where our program starts. After this, we need to write an opening and closing pair of curly braces. The opening curly brace signifies the beginning of a block and the end of the block is signified by the closing curly brace. Anything in between these two curly braces is considered the body of a function. So, in between these braces, we can write our logic. So, in the beginning, we want to print our text. To print, we need to use the keyword C out, which tells C++ to print to the console. Then, we need to use an output stream operator. To say that, we're going to output something. This is represented by two arrows pointing to the left, like this. Now we can write the text that we want to print. To tell C++ that it is text, we need to use double quotation marks. In between the quotation marks, we can write whatever we want. For this example, I'll write, hello world. Now we need one more output stream operator, followed by the keyword end L, to tell C++ to end the line. After this, we must write a semicolon to tell C++ that we have finished programming this line and to go to the next one. In fact, we must use a semicolon after every line inside the body of a function. Now that we have printed the text, we need to tell C++ that the program has run successfully. This is not necessary for all functions except for the main function. To do this, we use the return keyword followed by a number code. The number zero signifies that the program has run successfully. Simply add a semicolon after the zero, and now we're almost done with this program. Unfortunately, if we ran the program now, it would just flash on the screen very quickly. This is because after C++ prints the text, it will read the line return zero, meaning that the program will close. In order to fix this, we need a way for our program to wait till the user types something. We'll go into much more detail on user input in a later episode, but just for now, write get char and then an open and closing bracket. This will wait for the user to type something. Now, if you press the green arrow at the top of the screen or press F5 on the keyboard, the program that we just made will run. And as you can see, it printed hello world to the console. And if we type something and press enter, the program will close. So let's just go over why this program works. To begin with, we wrote pound include IOStream. 
This tells C++ that we want to use the file input output stream. Then we said using namespace std. This tells C++ that we want to use the standard library. After that, we wrote the statement int main, which is just the function that is automatically called by C++. Then inside the body of main, we said cout hello world and l. This just tells C++ to print out the text that is in between the quotation marks. Then we said get char, which waits for the user to type something and then hit enter. And finally, we said return zero, which tells the C++ program that the program has run successfully and it can close it. So congratulations, you've successfully written a basic program, which will display text to the screen. In the next lesson, we'll be discussing more on printing. So see you next time.